No, no, I'm going to say the women. I'm going to go with the women. The women are left. And I believe this flag that they always tote and they give to the women, it makes for a cold bedfellow. And that was the reason for this poem. Tyranny, dare I say, conspiracy was all over the world. And we are the ones left crying peace for humanity. See, my husband of nine years, he's one of the many soldiers now fighting overseas. And I am here at home holding down the family fort. And yes, sometimes I do take a nip off that 1976 anniversary report. See, work is a passion of mine, and there are hours at a time when I can forget about it all, till the day there was a knock on the front door, and then all those phone calls. And I fall to pieces. You're a strong woman. That's everyone's favorite phrase. But what role did they expect me to take? I've got three young children to raise. As I read a bedtime story to the children and the sound of their laughter fades, I picture him and his comrades cracking jokes over a game of spades. He'd say, each one, teach one. Now that's a lot of pass. Now I lay me down to sleep, worrying about the very base treat of life, cash. But not for college, for rent, food, electricity, water, and gas. See this here folded flag? It makes for a cold belt bed fellow. It reeks of corporate contracts fulfilled in the dark. And light is always the dark. And sometimes it seems as if all the world is a farce. And I fall to pieces. Sometimes I go out back. I sit down on that broken trampoline and I cry. I cried to the stars, imagining he and I having an intimate moonlight picnic on Mars. Cause by and by, when the morning comes, all the saints of God be gathering home. Then we'll tell the story of how we overcome. Otherwise, I'd fall to pieces. Thank you, guys.